Give the Lord God of Abraham a thunderous applause today. If you like Jesus, oh, glory, glory, glory. Clap your hands unto the Lord, all you people. Thank you, Gina. Such anointed singing. And we praise God for that. You can be seated. Hallelujah. I want to share with you yesterday, uh, Peggy and I went to uh, John's basketball game. And uh, I saw a lady there and I didn't recognize her. I, recognize her face but I couldn't think of her name she used to be a member here and she moved to Georgia and uh, it finally hit me last night that her name was Bonita Webb and as she was talking I talked to her after the game and she said this is my granddaughter Ashley I said she you prayed for her years ago she couldn't even walk and said look at her she's walking on her own now Boy, I know that just turns you on. My God, isn't that exciting? Praise God. Well, maybe this one will help you. She also said she was blind, but now she sees. Amen. And she's going back en route to back to L.A. That's lower Atlanta, down in the Atlanta area. Not in Atlanta, but lower Atlanta, somewhere down in there. Uh, but she said on spring break, said, I'm coming back to Victory Temple. And I said, well, bring these kids with you so we can get a testimony. I got pictures yesterday. And it was so unique. Uh, John's best buddy, Hudson Wilkins, she said that uh, as all the noise going on, you had it is at ball games. And forgive me, I hope y'all don't fire me as your pastor for going to a ball game. Amen. Hallelujah. But uh, I thought she said that Hudson, uh, which is John's best buddy on the team, she was related to him. You remember what she said, honey? What? Mike's aunt. Mike, uh, Hudson's, it'd be Hudson's great aunt. And he and John are best buddies. I mean, you'd think they was twins. And there was... You know, it's a small world. Amen. And uh, John finally went yesterday uh, to his football. Come up here, John, to his football banquet. And he got his trophy. They were one game away from the playoffs the first year that they played. And they was one game away from in the playoffs for the championship. Amen. Just one game that had been in the championship. And, uh, man, that looks like the Hulk there. It don't look like a, you, John. <laughs> it's not you. It's, hold, hold your little trophy up there. Show it to Teresa so she can get it. Don't cover his head up now. Hold it. There you go. And how many touchdowns did you score in football this year? Two. Two touchdowns and a couple of extra points running for extra points. And uh, you're playing basketball now, right? Mm-hmm. Well, and... About March, we'll, you'll start baseball. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Which is your favorite of all the sports that you play? Baseball. Baseball. You like baseball? Mm -hmm. And you have aspirations one day playing professional baseball. Who do you want to play for? The Astros. The Houston Astros. we got an Astro fan over here. Now, I don't know why he missed Cincinnati and Atlanta local teams. He wants one of them Texas teams where they do everything big out there in Texas. Amen. Well, who do you love more than anybody? 
God. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Amen. See, there's his trophy. Man. He's got his name on her. 2015 uh, LC football team crickets. John Martin, number 30. Amen. He's got his little, we'll start him a trophy case. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Of course, he gets all this athletic ability from his grandfather. And did you know that his grandmother, she was captain. Now, she, I'm going to date her and date me, but she was captain of her elementary school in basketball when they played half court. They dribbled the ball to the half line and they throw it to somebody. She, they didn't play full court. It's half court. And she'd, they would dribble the ball up to her and throw it to her, and she would shoot and score. She was captain of her basketball team. So I guess it just comes natural for our grandchildren to be athletic because they come from good stock. Amen. Hallelujah. And, of course, David played sports. And we were, when I played, we were state champs in basketball in 1959. But uh, I just thank God for my family. And getting back to Benita Webb, I don't even remember praying for her granddaughter uh, that couldn't walk. We prayed for so many people down through the years. Somebody uh, uh, texted me or contacted me this week and said, I'm so-and-so, do you remember me? And I, no, I don't, I'm sorry. But uh, we have literally ministered to thousands of people down through the years, and God has healed many of them. And that blesses me when I hear people like Benita Webb come with a testimony that our granddaughter's healed. Now, the Bible says to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And I teach people to believe God right now that you have your healing. But if not, God can heal you gradually. The, the, the lepers were healed as they went, as they walked away from Jesus. And then they realized, one of them realized his leprosy was gone, and the Bible says he turned and went back to Jesus, and with a loud voice, he didn't have no microphone, with a loud voice. So God likes loudness. You see, it's not noise that people detest, it's the type of noise. <laughs> Amen. You, you know, you can shout and scream at a ball game till you turn blue in the face, but my goodness, when you come to church, it's got to be like funeral now, just... Just sit there. We don't don't hit no funeral music right now, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. But our God's alive, is he not? And it just blessed me that even Benita herself, she got saved and delivered in this church, watching us on television. And so remember here about three years. Amen. God just got her out of a mess. And uh, we just thank the Lord. I just praise God just about every day. Testimonies are coming in of people that have been saved or healed or delivered or set free some way through our ministry. And we just praise God for that. And there's no slowing down. Amen. There's no, in a couple of months, I'll be 76 years old. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're on television every day somewhere. We're on television every day somewhere. We're on television every day somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. And since 2005, when we went on uh, CTN and then also on the Word Network, uh, those channels reach uh, several countries around the world. The Word Network reaches uh, two uh, 200, I should say, 200 countries around the world and 90 million homes that it reaches right here in the States. And uh, I sent them a demo tape to the Impact Television Ministry and thinking about going on that station. And I sent them a demo tape. And uh, Lewis Gibbs, who, who used to be at the Word Network, he was the one that opened the door for me on the Word Network. And we've been on there since 2005. Have never begged for money. Not ask for one dime from no, ain't selling no books. Not clearing out the wirehouse and giving you 50% off of stuff that they don't even want themselves. 
Amen. It's outdated. Uh, we have cut the price to the bone. Amen. Plus the fact we got to get this junk out of here. Make room for the new stuff. Amen. It hadn't made, hadn't promised nobody there'd be a millionaire. Boy, it just disturbs me, the methods and the tactics. And this is going on around the world right now. We're streaming the tactics that the preachers use to get the dollar from you. It just bo that bothers me, folks. Now, everybody's not going to be a millionaire. Every woman's not going to get that man. You're not going to get that Boaz. Amen. Everybody's not going to get the house or the Mercedes. Amen. And I heard one the other day, and uh, when we get on our regular TV program, I'm going to share this. I'm going to share it right now. It's God spoke to him, to the, the guy on TV, God spoke to him that there was 300 people to give $300. How spiritual is that? Amen. I wonder where he finds that in the Bible. But God spoke to him. Now watch this. 300 people to give $300. And, and he stops. Oh, wait a minute. God's talking to me. There's one person that's supposed to give $3,000. And that person that gave that $3,000 was going to become a, not a million, but a billionaire. Well, they better thank God God didn't tell me that because I'd, I'd do that first for me if I had to borrow it. Amen. And I heard one of them say that he gave $10,000. Now listen. He himself gave $10,000. And the next day, the very next day, God blessed him with a million dollars. I'm going to let that soak in. And... You know, they'll just use anything, any method to touch your, your greed button. Amen. But one of the, the apostles says, your money will perish with thee. Amen. So we're trying to get souls saved. And I, I, I'm going to reiterate, since 2005, we've been on worldwide television. We've been on locally for years and uh, not begging uh, don't have no begathon every time you turn us on. Not selling no books, no tapes, no singing tapes or preaching tapes or books. We just give it away. Jesus said, freely you've received, freely give it. Amen. Glory to God. I think that's a good principle, don't you? Well, now that I've got that out of my system, <laughs> we'll, we'll go on. And how, many, how many here today you know God's been good to you? He just... Just say, Lord, you've been so good to me. Say, Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. Oh, Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. Well, you've done what no other man could do. Did he ever heal you? Heal me when I was sick. You've been so good to me. Heal me when I was sick. Hey! You've been so good to me. Heal me when I was sick. You've been so good to me. Well, you've done what no other man could do. You put food on my table. You've been so good to me, yes. You put food on my table. You've been so good to me. You put food on my table. You've been so good to me. Well, you've done what no other Help me sing this song. Come on. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. You've been so good to me. Lord, Lord, Lord. You've been so good to me. Lord, Lord, Lord. You've been so good to 
me Well you done What no other man I tell you he heals you Healed me when I was sick You've been so good to me Healed me when I was sick Yay, yay You've been so good to me Healed me when I was sick You've been so good to me Well you've done what no other Come on, sing this song to me. Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. Well, you've done what no other man. One more time, come on. Oh, Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. Well, you've done what no other man could do. Faith in the Father and faith in the Son. Victories are won. Demons will tremble. The sinner away. Faith in my Jesus. Can anything change? I've got faith in the Father and faith. In the sun, faith in the Holy Ghost, victories are won. Demons will tremble, the sinner away. Faith in my Jesus can Faith, when your loved one is sick and in bed. Faith, when that message comes, your loved one is dead. Faith, to be happy when nothing seems right faith faith to believe that everything's gonna be right I've got faith in the Father and faith in the Son faith in the Holy Ghost victory are won. Demons will tremble the sinner away. Faith in my Jesus can anything change. And I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right be all right be all right be all right, be all right. yes I got a feeling Everything's gonna be alright oh, 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 I got a feeling Everything's gonna be alright I got a feeling Everything's gonna be alright 
gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Help me sing this song. Come on. Yeah, I got a feeling that everything's gonna be all right. Oh, oh, oh I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. I got a feeling. Be all right, be all right, be all right, be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. All right, all right. Yes, I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, oh, oh I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. 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 We Jesus told me in the word everything gonna be all right. Oh, oh my Jesus told me everything's gonna be all right. My Jesus told me everything's gonna be all right. Be all right, be all right, be all right. I Got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Play it, brother. Come on. Deliverance music. Yeah, come on, sing the song. Yeah, I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, oh, oh I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. I want you to tell somebody, just look at them eyeball to eyeball. Even if they had a taco with onions on it for breakfast. Look at my eyeball to eyeball and say, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be all right. T tell somebody, say, I don't know what you're going through. Come on. I don't know what you're going through, but everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Well, if you're sick and afflicted and you don't know what to do, just call on King Jesus. Your miracle's coming through, King Jesus. I know you hear me when I pray. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord. You ever been in trouble? When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, listen, listen, listen. He'll come walking right by your way. Well, if you're sick and afflicted, you don't know what to do. 
call on my Jesus, your healing's coming through, Jesus. I know you hear me when I pray. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you'll come a walking by my way. Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray every day. Do you know it? Do you know it? Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you come a walking by my way. Labor in the upper chamber, 120 in all. They begin to call on Jesus and the Holy Ghost to call me Jesus. I know you hear me when I pray. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you come on walking by my way. Well, I've been in the valley, but I've reached that mountain top. I'm looking for that city. Good God, I can't stop it. Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you come a walking by my way. In Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. Do you know it? When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you come a-walking by my way. Thank you, old Paul in prison. Look about the midnight hour. He began to call on Jesus. The Lord has heard his prayer. He, Jesus, I know he hears me when I pray. I know you hear me when I pray. Do you know it? King Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you come a-walking by my way. Some men, they want silver. Some men, they want gold. But give me Jesus. He's the rock of my soul. King Hear me when I pray. Somebody needs to shout. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you come a walking by my way. King Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. Yes, you does. King Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord. You come on, walking by my way. King Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. King Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. heaven. I'm going to sing and shout. There won't be nobody to put me out. Hey. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you come a walking. I'm going to sing that again. When I get to heaven, I'm going to sing and shout. There won't be nobody to put me out. Jesus, I know you hear me when I pray. When I'm down here in trouble, Lord, you come a walking by my way. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Oh, can I get a good old juicy hallelujah? Oh, can I get a thank you, Jesus? Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to sing this to Brother Gary. We're not going to come down to the devil's level. You know, you'd be surprised how the enemy tempts me to do certain things on television that would 
increase my ratings, but I'm not about to come down to the devil's level. Hallelujah. A man told me the other day, I didn't finish a story about impact, and uh, I sent him a demo tape. He used to be at the door. Lewis Gibbs, he was responsible for me getting on the Word Network. And he said, you hadn't changed in the last 10 years. I said, thank God. I'm just like God. In that he is the same yesterday, today. Hadn't changed my doctrine from day one when I opened this church 42 years ago. Will be 42 June in June. He, meant, he said, oh, it's not a bad thing. Amen. Hallelujah. God has gifted me. Why should you change? Amen. I'm not going to bring no rock stars in here and people with purple and green and yellow and blue hair and a ball cap half on the high side of their head. Their drawers down below their buttocks. Amen. High on drugs. Psychedelic life going on. I find that in the club. The church is not a club. I said, the church is not a club. Amen. Glory to God. My, we've lost our brilliant minds of our young people to drugs and to alcohol, crack cocaine. If, if you want to get a high, why don't you crack open the Bible? Just crack open the Bible. You can get high on J-E-S-U-S. How many times Satan lies to me. I will not come now. Come on, Bishop. Clap your hands for the Lord. Satan lies to me. He tells me I'm finished. I was never, never free. He makes me feel that hard and wish I never, never started till the Lord on the cross I see. And I say, Mr. Devil, oh boy, you had better flee. I will not come down to the devil's level. I will not come down. Say that's right. Oh, when Satan thinks he's about to get me, I remind him of the blood and he has to flee. I will not come down. Satan's right. All over this land there are men that won't serve the Lord. We're trying to get more. They act like this church is going to be here forever. Walk in the paths of sin. But I made up my mind to keep the Lord deep down within. Help me sing it. I will not come down to the devil's level. Never. I will not come down to Satan's ground. Oh, and Satan thinks he's about to get me. Remind him of the blood and he has to flee. I will not come down. Satan's ground. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. We're not about to come down to the devil's level. We got a made up mind to go all the way with Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, just take this service for your glory. We want the Holy Ghost to have his way in this house today. It's not our program. It's the Holy Ghost program. However, the Spirit directs. That's what we want to do. Hallelujah. 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 
Oh, let the angels of the Lord come and visit people in this house today. You said the angels are encamped around about those that love you, Lord. And let the angels of God just do some camping here in this service this morning. Oh, thank God, thank God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel Jesus in this place. I feel healing in this house right now because Jesus is here. You're not going to leave the way you came. I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus in this place in my soul I feel healing. I feel healing. I feel healing in this place. Worship him. Come on. I feel him. I feel him. Come on. I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus in this place. And my soul died But within me I feel Jesus In this place Play it, brother. Let's just worship the Lord. Come on. Just worship him. Fall in love with him right now. Tell him how much you love him. Come on, talk to him. Worship him. tank with you. Come up here. God says it's your time. Let that lovely woman you have, let her come with you. 
That brother Rui back there in the back with the white hair, would you and I, that woman come up also? And Sister Harmon, I see the healing light of Jesus over you. Would you come up here right now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, for you that don't know me and know this church, the Holy Ghost is our program. Most churches sing three songs, had a 45-minute sermon, 30-minute sermon, take an offering and go home in one hour. Well, we don't use a clock here. We have a calendar. You think, you think I'm playing with you? I may get through next week. Hallelujah. Give me the oil. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The Lord says today, and I, I know you've got this oxygen tank. You have to carry that with you all the time. Yes. You got COPD? Yeah. How long? 14 years. 14 years. That's 14 years too long. As a prophet of God, I said, as a prophet of God, as a prophet of God, I'm going to pray for you right now. And God's going to heal you right now. Somebody say, right now. If God, if God heals you and he's going to, could you, would you notice any different? Yes, I would. If it, if it left, shortness of breath? Yes. Yes, I would. You know the difference? I anoint you with this oil in the name of Jesus. I decree, Lord, I curse this COPD. I command it to be God in Jesus' name. Touch it. Oh, yeah. Take three deep breaths. One, two, three. I leave your oxygen there. Come to me. Follow me. Come on, just follow me. So you've had this for 14 years. And in the past, when you'd walk just a little bit without your oxygen, you'd get short-winded. Yeah. Out of breath. Let's just let's just walk around. No, 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 no. Don't go back to that. That's your crutch. People that drink beer, you know, that's their crutch. Can you picture somebody with a, a five-foot bottle of beer and they got it under their arm? That's their crutch. That's what they lean on to face reality, to face pain. Don't you know that Jesus is a pain regulator? Come on over here, brother. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I prophesy today that you'll not need that oxygen. Those tanks are high, aren't they? Yes, they are. I had some people years ago. Their mother almost died, and I went to visit with them, and she needed an oxygen tank. And they didn't have the money to buy one. Five people in the family working, and the oxygen cost $420-something, I believe it was. I reached in my pocket and gave them $420. They said their mother's going to die during the night. I said, no, no, she's not either. And they went and got a tank, that tank. And she survived that night and many nights and many years after that. Amen. Glory to God. Now that $400 wasn't a loan. I gave it to them. I said, it was a gift. I'm glad that I had $400 on me. Thank you, Natalie. She's brought me some pastor some candy. Look at there. I'll get me some sugar after a while. Amen. Hallelujah. But brother, I'm telling you, through the authority, come on, let's walk some more. Through the authority, can we take our time? How long has it been since you jogged? Years, over 14 years. Let's kind of jog just a little bit, just you and I. You can say you're just jogging with Prophet Martin Sunday. Come on. 
Amen. Amen. Somebody say, jogging for Jesus. Come on, say, jogging for Jesus. Amen. We're getting our Jesus exercise today. Now stop. Now take a deep breath. Is that different or any better? Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Better? All right. We don't want it better. We want it healed. Getting better all the time. All the time? <laughs> yeah. Well, God's got plenty of time. You know what that tells me? I'm going to be healed. Amen. It tells me you are healed. Because he said, lay hands on the sick and they shall. Somebody say shall. They shall recover, right? Amen. Is it better now? Yeah, it is. Another deep breath. I want you to say COPD. COPD. You're gone. You're gone. Forever. Forever. Now you're going to have a tendency because of force of habit for 14 years, you're going to have a tendency to go to that thing. But when you feel like you need to go to it, say, with the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. I'm not telling you to quit taking that, putting that on your nose or whatever for your lungs, but I'm telling you, every time you feel like going to it, you say, with the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. Amen? Amen. I will. What, do you, what do you think about this church? I love this church. Thank was it? More left like it. Is it different, or what, what do you like about it? Jesus is here. I feel him right here now. Whoa! Jesus is here. Amen. Now, this is your wife. Come over here. You can stand next to her. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give me the oil. What do you think about this church? I love it. Has God ever done anything for you at this church? Yes, he has. What did he do? He's healed me of my uh, diabetes. He healed you of diabetes? Yes. And how long had you had diabetes? About five, six years. Did you take the shot or peel? Pills. Every day? Yeah. And now, folks, we've got a registered nurse here, and she stepped out with her child. She, Gina's working on her master's. She's working on her master's in medicine. And when she has goals, one day she will, she will be over the whole hospital. Amen. Might get you all a job there if you're straightened up. So if you had diabetes for five or six years and the Lord healed you in one of our services. Yes, he did. Who do you know healed you? God. Amen. And God has great things in store for you, my daughter. For I, the Lord, have brought thee to this house. Seek no more. Seek no more. God has planted your feet in this house and you shall be established as never before saith the Lord there's somebody I just picked it up on your wrist It's uh, there's a tension in your especially the right wrist if you'll come up here God will heal you hallelujah hallelujah glory to God what this man has and I'm going to anoint him with oil There's a blood issue. The doctor said the, the blood is fine. He had a blood, the, the doc. All right. He's with the blood. Okay, let me ask you this. Does he have itching, the, a scratching problem? Mm, yes, but it's not enough. Not visible. No. You can't see it. Yes, he don't see nothing. Well, I know what you said, the doctor said. But the Holy Ghost said he had a blood issue. That's what's causing him to itch all the time. It's in his blood. And I respect doctors, but you better accept what God says under the Holy Ghost. Whoa, hallelujah. And is it mostly at night? Yeah. Sometimes it's during the day, during the day but at night time. Can't sleep? Any night. Well, you have sleep apnea as well. And God's going to... How many remember Michael from New Jersey that came? He said he hadn't slept good in, over, uh, in a year. He had a knot on the back of his neck. I didn't see that knot. 
And God told me that that knot was blocking the flow to his brain for uh, blood and so forth. I'm not a MD, I'm a DD. That's a devil destroyer. I am a DD, I'm a devil destroyer. And he hadn't slept good in a year. Some of you, he's been on our TV program. And people witnessed that knot on the back of his head. Three witnesses, and by himself, four witnesses. And he was standing in front of me, and I saw the knot behind him. And God told me what it was, and I prayed for him. And the thing vanished right there that night. How many remember that? Have I got any witnesses on that? He came back the next day and said he slept like a baby the night before. Came all the way from New Jersey. Now, you're going to sleep good tonight. Will you all come back next Sunday? Yeah. What? Not next Sunday because I'm working every other Sunday. You work, or the Sunday after then. Yeah. All right. I'm telling you, you're going to sleep good. And I know what the doctor, the blood work said, but the Holy Ghost said there's something in your blood that causes your skin to itch. It's like crawling. Things crawling on you, itching. You, you can't see it. It's not visible. No, 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 no. I don't see nothing. You see nothing. But I see something. I don't know the medical terms or what they are, but I'm a seer. I cast the demons out of a woman here one night, and I saw a snake come out of her and went down that aisle and went out to the front door in the spirit. In the spirit. In the earth. Two years and a half. Two years and a half. Have it is. Two years. Two, two years now. Half. He's had. Yes. I washed the clothes. I washed the sheets. Every. Of, all over again. Bed sheets. His clothes. Everything. But he still had the itching. And God said it's in his blood. But the doctor said there's nothing wrong with his blood. The demons don't show up in blood work. Demons don't show up on x-rays. I can't get people to understand that. you got to see through the Spirit. God can put some super on your natural. God is a supernatural God. And he's had this for two and a half years. Well, he'll know it when it's gone. You work next Sunday, but the Sunday after, you're going to come back with a testimonial that you've been healed. I curse, Lord, I don't know what it is except the blood issue. I noticed where a woman had an issue of blood for 12 years and you healed her, Lord. Now, Lord God, I want you to heal my brother. Give him a miracle. I want him to come back a week from this Sunday. Oh, Rabbi Shatta, with a testimony that this two and a half years of itching on his body is God in Jesus' name. And Lord, let him sleep good. The Bible says God gives His beloved sleep. God give him rest, give him sleep, and change his life forever. I see as a little boy, he had a very hard time. As a little boy years ago, how old is he now? 69, as a little boy, had a lot of difficulty, even in, in proper food to eat and so forth, when you're just a child. But God said he's laid his hand upon you, and that which the enemy meant for harm, God's going to make good out of it. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, do you watch this on TV? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. What's your native language? Portuguese. Portuguese. He is well? Mm-hmm. How do you say Jesus loves you in Portuguese? Jesus gosta de ti. That's, that's Jesus uses you. That's, that's what I'm saying. Have to pray and done. Oh! Raise your hands, brother. Raise your hands. I surrender. You know, when, when Moses... I think it's Numbers 11. When Moses lifted his hands up, he prevailed and he was defeating the Amalekites. 
But being a preacher, a pastor, he got tired. And he let his hands down, and when he did, the Amalekites prevailed. But he had two helpers, Aaron and Hare, and they held his arms up. They held Moses' arms up. They held him up. He was weak, but God is strong. They held his arm up, and while he held his arms up, they defeated the Amalekites. I'm telling you, if you'll surrender to Jesus, if you'll throw up your hands and surrender everything to Jesus, God will fight the battle for you. In the name of Jesus, I'm going. God touch his blood pressure as well. I want a miracle testimony from this service in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you, my brother. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, you have the back problem? I didn't see that. I saw back problem for you when you were standing there. I saw the healing light of Jesus going down through your back. And I take that as a sign that God's going to heal your back. But if God's going to heal her back, He's going to heal your back. Yeah. Is that all right? Amen. Glory to God. Rub your hand down His back there, Leroy. In Jesus' name. Even in the calves of your legs. Huh? They don't work. The shots don't work. Listen, they, he takes shots. They don't work. The meds that he takes is not helping him. And you know what? Uh, I see now. Uh, if I'm taking meds and they're not helping me, maybe I should quit taking them. Keep going to the doctor, he gives you a blue pill and a red pill and a white pill. And it's not working. But the Holy Ghost is working. I said the Holy Ghost is working. Touch the calf as his legs down there, Leroy. Both sides. Even as he rubs your legs and your back, I decree in Jesus' name that you're completely healed. Are they hurting now? A little bit. All right, walk with me like my brother did here. See, he's still standing. How you feeling now, brother? Feeling okay. Come on, let's walk a little bit. Amen. Hallelujah. Every step you take, the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord, and God's ordering your steps, and your steps are going to be ordered by God, and there's not going to be any pain in your legs. Now, folks, I didn't plan this service this way, but this is the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right, now come to your wife. Come over here. Hallelujah. Ask him how that feels. How do you feel? A little bit. I don't want a little bit. I thank God for a little bit, but I want it all. Oh! Somebody say, I want it all. Healing is a children's bread. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Lord, complete the healing in Jesus' name. And it's done. Amen. Glory to God. Let me get to uh, my sister over here. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ooh. Sister Harmon, the Lord brought you all here today for your healing. And God's going to honor your faith and your husband's faith. A man of God over 50 years, I guess. You've been preaching for over 50 years? 76. That's over 50 years. Mm. In the name of Jesus, I drive out the infirmity in your back, in your legs, and the, especially the L5 area, even down to your left leg and the calves of your legs and even your ankles to be healed 
in Jesus' name. Thank God we still got churches that believe in praying for the sick. And not just praying, but getting results. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Love the old God. Touch her. Heal her, Lord, for your glory. Heal her, Lord, for your glory. Yes, and the intercessory spirit that I placed upon you years ago. You prayed for many of God's soldiers and generals in the army of God. And because of your prayers and because of your faithfulness, I, the Lord God, touched thee this day, said the Lord. And you will know, you will know, you will know that I, the Lord God, have healed thee in thy body this day, saith the Lord. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Glory to God. Brother Earl, I know you're recording this and you're sort of semi-retired, I guess. But God says you're not retired. You don't find retirement in the Bible. You're still going to preach the Word of God. You're still going to get signs and wonders and miracles because our type of preachers are a dying breed in this last day. But we got men of God today that can pray the prayer of faith and you're one of them, saith the Lord. And your last days will be your best days upon this earth, saith God. And according to Nahum 1 and verse 9, this affliction shall not come the second time. Somebody say that means it can't come back. Your, your left leg is shorter than the right one. Just sit on the front bench here. Just sit there just a moment. All right. Come here and hold the microphone for me. Get over, don't get in front of the camera. You know better than that. I've been doing this 20 years. This leg is shorter than the right one. I'm not going to stretch it and pull it out. I'm not going to play with her shoe. I saw the video recently of A.A. Allen prayed for a five-year-old boy didn't have no bones in his legs. And God, you healed him and he walked. Do it again, Lord, in Jesus' name. Somebody say with the stripes of Jesus, she's healed. You have padding in your shoe? I have padding. On the left side? Well, you, uh, you may have to take it out. That's up to you. Well, now would be a good, good time to have old timey foot washing service, wouldn't it? Hallelujah. Now walk. Come on, walk. 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 Turn around. Stop. Stop. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hand right here for the complete healing of this bone. I read in Ezekiel where Ezekiel prophesied, and the Bible said the bones came together. Jesus may let the bones come together in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And now it's done. Let's walk back now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Everybody say, with the strife to Jesus, she is healed. Hallelujah. Say it again. 
in the stripes of Jesus, she is healed. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. It's done. In Jesus' name, I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you. And now walk to your husband. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How long y'all been married? Fifty-seven. She's been making biscuits for him for fifty-seven years. They're ahead of us, honey. Amen. Amen. But she had a dry rod tumor, and uh, it took the calcium out and went into her blood. Of course, I took her to Tampa, Florida, and they cut that out. She's she's bow-legged. That leg is curved in. That makes it hard one. But there's no distance in prayer, and there's no nothing about the circumstances or the conditions that I look to, you know, whatever happened. It's God. I look beyond that. I'm raised in conscience higher than that. Hallelujah. So, you know. Thank God for that testimony. Don't look to the symptoms. We look to the healer of the symptom. Too many people spend time telling what all's wrong with the person. You know, I hear people... And they go through the same old, and time to get done, they, they don't. They just drag the doctor's report. Who will believe the report of Isaiah? You know, you know. a lot of people, they, they, we go to the doctor, he gives us a bad report, and we dwell in that, you know. But I believe that we need to turn our attention towards Jesus Christ, who is the healer of all diseases. Praise the Lord. Can I get a witness? God bless you, Brother Earl. Praise the Lord. Woo, glory to God. All right, now we're going to get Bishop grinning now. Y'all can sit down if you like. Hey, hey, wait a minute. How you doing? I'm doing fine. <laughs> How's your breathing? I couldn't even stood here this long. That's right. He's been standing here for 30, 30 minutes. I couldn't have stood this long any other time. You didn't hook up your apparatus either. Oh, uh -uh. Now, the same God that healed your wife of sugar is the same God that healed you COPD. That's right. You believe that? Yeah, I do. Sure do. Somebody say amen. Amen. Everybody say with the strife to Jesus. We're healed. We're healed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, Bishop, come up here. In your chest area, in your stomach. I appreciate you and your husband. I appreciate your faith. Or this church too. You like the church? Yes. Amen. I, I kind of like I'm a little partial, but I like them. <laughs> Amen. Did this just happen today? Yes. When I'm over there. The fire? Mm. Okay. That simply means that God's burning everything out that's not like Jesus. All the impurities in your body, any toxic poisons in your body, God has burned them out. I say so often, demons don't show up on x-rays. Amen. They're spirits. Demons don't show up on x-rays. And I'm telling you, God is burning out all the toxics in your body. And you ought to thank God for that burning. It's not a heartburn from eating. It's, no, that's not what it is. It's, it's the, the purging and the purifying. Boy, the old folks say, God's purging you. You got that burning. God's purging you. Amen. So God's purging you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, I thank you for this anointed vessel. God, thank you for this precious woman and her husband. And God, I, I feel faith from them like never before. And I ask you, Lord God, to purge her entire body. Everything in here that's not like Jesus, take it out in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ask him how he's doing now. Very. Very. Better. better. We don't like better. I didn't said that. You're healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's pray for Bishop. Bring me some oil. Dr. Martin, can I? I don't want to uh, 
take over because you know how preachers are. Uh, I'm going to hold the mic then. Right, you do that. I just wanted to say, uh, of course, a lot of people don't know what I've been going through. I've really been suffering in my back, and I haven't said anything to uh, most people. Uh, this past week, though, uh, on Friday, Friday evening, I couldn't even get myself undressed. I, I had to get the kids to come in and help me get undressed for bed, and uh, yesterday, I've been going to the doctor, I've seen uh, my family doctor and a uh, back doctor already, and uh, they've done tests, and they said that I had arthritis in my lower back, and uh, so anyhow, they gave me some muscle relaxers and, and gave me some pain patches and a TENS unit and all of those things that go along with back problems, all the things I've seen other people uh, deal with. And uh, I've always been a strapling guy, you know. I like to get out there and get physical. Uh, down on the farm, anytime something needs moved or lifted or tugged on or pulled on, they'll all, they say, go get Brother Drennan. Uh, he'll do it because he don't care to get a hold of it. And, uh, but I've felt really helpless for about eight or ten weeks now because everything I do just aggravated my back. And so anyhow, I was really down in my back this weekend. Uh, I was able to get up last night and move around a little bit, and I felt a little bit more mobile this morning. Uh, but I was really in a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort. I didn't know if I was going to be able to sit on the uh, organ stool even to play the organ this morning, but I thought I'm going to go on, and by faith, I'm going to believe God that I'm going to be able to stay and do what I need to do. Well, this is in all honesty, uh, Dr. Martin started singing, and I don't know if it was one of those notes he hit or something, but uh, all of the pain in my back immediately went away. I've been sitting over there listening to him pray for other people's back problems, thinking, thank God he's having to pray for them instead of me because I feel completely and totally well at this point in time. Amen. So, uh, you know, the Scripture said he sent his word and healed them. And I feel like that the power of the word has already came here today. Touch me in my body. I want your prayers. I, I covet your prayers. And I accept your prayers. But I already know my healing's already taken place. I feel good. Amen. Amen. Let, I, I'm going to anoint you anyway. Father, in the name, thank you for healing Bishop's back while the anointing, while we're singing, he's playing that organ. As David played skillfully with that loud noise, you healed his back, Lord, while he was in the presence of the Lord. Nobody touched him but God. It had to be you, Lord, and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Somebody say hallelujah. You're witnessing live miracles from the Victory Temple Church in Lenore City, Tennessee. The Church of Miracles, Signs, and Wonders. Just, Kim, Tim, scan the camera up here. We've got over 40 years of miracles, signs, and wonders. Over 40 years of miracles, signs, and wonders. And June the 1st through the 5th, we will be celebrating 42 years of miracle signs and wonders. I'm preaching the same message today as I did 40 years ago, 42 years ago, that Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus delivers. Somebody clap your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. You've been so good to me. Lord, Lord, Lord. You've been so good to me. Lord, Lord, Lord. You've been so good to me. Well, you've done what no other man. Heal me when I say. Heal me when I was sick. You've been so good to me. Heal me when I was sick. You've been so good to me. Heal me when I was sick. You've been so good to me. Well, you've done what no other man could do. Sing the song. Oh. And so good to me, Lord, Lord, Lord. Been so good to me, Lord, Lord, Lord. Been so good to me. Well, you've done what no other man could do. 
those that are viewing today, we want you to heal them as well. Those that have back conditions, those that have issues in their blood, those that need miracles in their body, we send the word. You sent your word in Bible days. And now, Lord, in this day, since you're the same, send your word over these airways today and heal people, touch them, and raise them up. Oh, God, for a testimony of your healing power. And every person in this congregation today, I decree that they're healed as well. Oh, we praise you, God, with the stripes of Jesus. We are healed in Jesus' name. We call it done. Amen. Amen. We'll be back next week at this same time for you that are viewing live streaming every Sunday at 1030 www.woodymartin.org Let's give the Lord a clap off and a praise if you love Him here today. That's...